what 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 wow um am i saying that right is, is that is that 25 subscribers hang on hang on a second hang on a second yo dude yo dude am i saying that right is, is that 25 su don't walk away from me when i'm talking to you excuse me is that 25 subscribers am i saying that correctly yes am, am i wow that's that's very that's very weird isn't it <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna back away now. <laughs> anyway guys, I just wanted to make this really quick video to say how much I'm thanking you so much. Sorry, let me start that again. <laughs> just gonna say I thank you so much for all of your subscriptions. It's Wow, I, I didn't expect 25 of you, let alone one of you, <laughs> to to commit yourself to subscribe to this channel to commit in a way to my content and, and, um, and for, I'm, I'm very grateful I'm, I'm really really grateful um, sorry this is coming as a shock to me uh, do you mind I'm trying to give an inspirational speech here okay okay I'm just gonna go away now <clears throat> so um, in order to say thank you uh, I will well, firstly, I'm going to try and upload more regularly now. Um, but also, uh, I think I'm just going to do this quick video to tell you what's been going on with the channel. And why I personally um, am doing YouTube. So, so let's start off with that first question. Why I'm doing YouTube. It's because when I look around me, uh, all my friends in the world today, my school friends, college friends, everyone. They all seem to be either stressed or concerned or worried about something. And also, when I look on the internet these days, <laughs> I don't see very much content made specifically for a younger audience. And even if they are, some of their videos can be very concerning. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I'm doing YouTube really to try and bring some joy into this. <laughs> to people who watch my content uh, to to try and remove the stress of everyday life if you're ever feeling sad or stressed just watch this cringy content <laughs> that I'm doing and yes my humor is pretty cringy so if you don't like cringe humor then I'm probably not the best idea as someone for a channel <laughs> but I mean if you like cringe then of course watch my videos they're very cringy um, and yeah, that is why I am personally doing it. I want to create more uh, child, family friendly content out there for all ages, um, have a wide audience, uh, and of course, make people not feel stressed or worried about anything. And that is basically why uh, I'm doing YouTube, really. And now we move on to the second <laughs> issue that I need to address in this video. What has been happening with all these weird series that I started and ended? <laughs> well, <laughs> um, firstly, I've had a lot of real life things happening, with getting back to uh, like learning, uh, college and all that jazz, uh, having lots of real life things happening these past few weeks, and of course, running out of money a tiny bit. We won't talk about that. Um, I haven't been able to do very much. And so that's why my uploads have been a bit shaky. <laughs> and the same with my content. Um, I met the Stellaris series may happen. I'm still deciding on that one, the one I did a trailer for. Um, but the other series hopefully should stay the same. Except for for one of them. And by one of them, I of course mean legacy. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> so much has happened. Okay, <laughs> let me let me let me fill you in on uh, some of the stuff that's happened with with, with, with Legacy. <laughs> so, um, Legacy season one has eight likes, I think. Last time I checked, everyone was really hyped for that. Has loads of views. Um, did a couple of streams on it. People were very happy about it. Then suddenly, it just kind of ended with no like no explanation it just kind of stopped and then I was like 
we're doing season two. And then I have I only did a few videos of season two, and now that's gone. Um, so so basically, <laughs> I will put this in the nicest way possible. Um, there were a lot, and I mean a lot, of arguments and friendship breakups caused by the past two servers. Now I don't know why. So some people are very addicted to Minecraft and take things too personally and seriously. And that's basically what happened with Legacy Season 1 and Season 2. <laughs> so we had to disband them before any more friendships were broken. <laughs> um, but now, um, we have a new server which we're all playing on and I hopefully will do some videos on it. You may have seen it in the weird Minecraft Rickroll video that I did. <laughs> the weird Minecraft Rickroll video I did. Um, and it's called the Shark Empire Server. And uh, this Shark Empire Server will be completely different from the previous ones. <laughs> Let me explain. So we've decided that survival mode was just causing too many issues. So we went in an entirely new direction and we've made a role-playing server. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. We have made a role-play server. So behind me you can see the wonderful stables built by the amazing builder known as 7F5, also one of my close friends. Um, and basically what you see around you right now is a little bit of the Shark Empire. So there's about 20 of us I believe and we started out in one big empire which is the Shark Empire which is where we are now. And then some people decided to split off go their own separate ways, create their own kingdoms, and so we have, I believe, like, five, four or five kingdoms? Um, we have the Shark Empire, which is here, of course. Uh, it's a very nice medieval-styled place. Very, very interesting. Uh, got the palace over there. It's very square. We're going to do some modelling details to that. Some structures, big houses, um, Shark Manor over there in the distance, lots of terraforming, a weird creeper farm, a half-built castle, lots of stuff, and cool stuff. And then we have... Chadonia! <laughs> and as you can see from behind me, uh, the people who have built this empire have gone for a more uh, city, medieval, Victorian, but kind of fantasy? I don't know how to describe it, but it's fantasy, it's fantasy. Gone for a more fantasy look to their empire, so here we've got the, the very rich estate here. Uh, not quite interiorly designed yet, but same with the Shark Empire, to be very honest. Oh wait, this house has got some wood in it, very nice looking. Um, but yeah, they've gone for a more fantasy kind of style, different colours, white and green, uh, lots of fancy walls. Uh, I believe this is the start of the palace that they are constructing. And they've got their wonderful, yep, you've got all their plans over there. Yep, this empire ha has had a lot of stuff happen to it. <laughs> I'll say that. Um, but yeah, so this is Chadonia. Uh, and we uh, we also have the Frog Empire. <laughs> yep, so this is a, another king empire. King, the, 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 the Frog Kingdom, I believe it's called, actually. Uh, this is another empire that we have on the server. Um, now this empire is a bit different. <laughs> As you can see, not too much work has happened. And that is because the king and queen um well it, it's very it's 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 complicated so the king has minecraft java but the queen has minecraft bedrock and her minecraft java is not working so, at, so, so what we have is is we have an empire that's half based on this server and half based on minecraft bedrock um yeah <laughs> very very interesting. Uh, there is also the anime kingdom as well. Um, however, I don't know where the coordinates of their actual base, so I can't show you them right now. But yeah, it's good to know that there's a kingdom uh, as well for them. <laughs> yes. Now, we also have custom items on this server as well. Uh, I have three of them here. The other one I can't remember the ID of, so unfortunately that's lost forever. <laughs> but still, we have three working ones. So, 
We have metal flip-flops, which as you can see, have already made my screen go pretty crazy. These are for Queen Froggy of the Frog Empire, and they have a massive durability, massive attack damage, and they give you massive speed. We also have J Jacob's Long Stick. Um, basically, the King's Scepter, as it were. And this thing does 1,000 attack damage. It will break pretty much any armor it comes into contact with. So, uh, don't want to mess with the King anytime soon. And then we have Nike Shoes. Or Nike, however you pronounce it. Uh, you wear them, and they go on your feet, and they're, they're really comfy. <laughs> Look at them, they're very nice little shade I can't show you them but uh, and they have massive durability again they give you plus a hundred armor and they give you uh, a little bit more attack speed so you can get into them faster attacks uh, and you can win battles very quickly sorry if we're on the server is having a meltdown I'll have to conclude the video in the frog empire kingdom <laughs> um, so basically, I just wanted to say one final thing. Um, although my, my Roblox video, my first video on my channel, has over 100 views now, um, unfortunately, I won't be able to make any more Roblox videos for you guys uh, just because of this. Yeah. Blockhead by the Wi-Fi. Um, so, sad times, but don't worry, there'll be lots of content from games like Minecraft and uh, other games that can be played by all ages or nearly all ages and any games that uh, that that are for the older viewers I will of course tell you in the description and in the video so that if you accidentally click on it you will not be forced to watch something that you perhaps don't want to watch. Okay, and uh, that is all I that's all I have to say for this video. Uh, apart from uh, have a good, a good, uh, have a good rest of the evening or morning or whenever you're watching this video, um, and try and be as nice as you can. And I hope you enjoy my videos. And please consider subscribing and liking if you do enjoy. There will be lots more Rick Astley content, probably. <laughs> and lots more cringe. Um, but that's all part of the fun, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yep. So, thank you so much for listening to me talk for about 10 minutes. It's boring, I know. But, yeah. I'm sorry. And, um, well, I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.